and for your sweet words, man. And uh, your lordship dresses.
I was 10 years old. And uh, during the last four years, I have designed uh, more than 70 websites. And I have appointed necessary staff to help me also. But it is my age that is creating problems for me. Being a minor, I cannot enter into an agreement with my customers, nor can I register my account. I have restrictions to operate my bank account. Also, the availability of time is also a negative aspect in my business life. Since I am a student, I have to attend my classes and spend time for my studies. And uh, during the previous years, after returning home, I was able to complete my homeworks within 2-3 to three years. But this year I have to concentrate more on my studies since I am in 10th standard. By God's grace, my company is functioning smoothly. I am taking a very good number of orders and completing it up to the satisfaction of my customers. I think it is the right time to change my subject. Till now, I have talked about me raising myself. I am quite sure. So, let's talk something about starting a business. And before coming to the topic, I would like to remind you again that I am only a death standard student. And whatever I say here is only my assumptions without any their legal support. So, my dear friends, I think when we are planning to start a business, the first thing we have to do is to consult an expert in that field. Because only an expert in a particular field can tell us the unforeseen difficulties of that field. The availability of raw materials, export staff, demand of our products, etc. are the matters which control our business. So, we have to do a deep study in all those aspects. Then, start a business with minimum requirements. Usually, uh, we bring a multi story building with exotic interior, if possible, satellite AC, most expensive car, a cabin for MP with all modern facilities, hundreds of employees, etc. But actually, to start a business, all these are not necessary. For example, uh, the domain Google.com was registered on September 15 of 1997. At that time, Google was no office at all. And they formally incorporated their uh, company as Google Incorporated on uh, September 4, 1998 at the French Parade at Mendo in California. Then they gradually grew to French all the facilities even beyond bad news. If so, starting a web designing company is so simple. If you can design, then the only requirement is a computer and an internet connection. And the remaining thing is in marketing. While coming to marketing, unless and until our plan is familiar to the public, we won't be successful in marketing. So, first of all, we have to establish our plan in the market. There are several methods to establish our plan, and online marketing is one of them. So, let us see how the facilities of internet can market a brand. Internet is not for let me know and has become a necessity too. Its growth value is tremendous. And today, people in India are taking onto the world wide web in a big way, outpacing anyone else across the globe, including our big brothers like US, China, Japan and Germany, in terms of online location. And India has also become the ninth biggest country in terms of online population from its state position just three months ago, but the US has retained its top slot with 153 million of web users. So all these statistics show that internet is a good media to promote a brand. And to promote a brand through internet, the first requirement is a website. A website is an integral part of any business. Unless and until the public is aware about you as well as your product, it is impossible to market a product. And by simply hosting a website, we will not be able to export the maximum sentiment. Our website should be an attractive one and at the same time should apparently convey our message to its visitors. The quality of our products, the trustworthiness of our team, the reputation of our brand, the testimonials we have received and all such positive aspects of our brand should be visited, should be contact the visitors without any hurdles. And uh, as a website is an integral, I told you that a website is an integral part of any business plan. 
I'm not saying all these uh, for candles and all of you for getting honors. And uh, but apart from hosting a website, we can establish a brand uh, through our social networking site as well. Because today we all are using uh, social networking sites. And uh, moreover, uh, today currently uh, 100 brands from free such as telecommunication, digital media, entertainment, etc. are making their business path on Facebook and others on social media. And for example, uh, Titus Fast Track, one of the pioneers in this field, recently recorded half a million fans in its Facebook page. And the brands were skyrocketed, adding nearly a million fans every month. I mean, bad fans every month. And the biggest advantage of online marketing is the amount of information available on uh, social networking sites. As each person signs up for a new campaign or likes a page on Facebook, their information is automatically available to the brand, giving them access to know person's other interests. This helps in creating or uh, or in the brand for targeting future plans based on their interest, on the customer's interest. <coughs> and uh, when we establish a plan, naturally we will get more orders of customers. Then according to the necessity, we can advance more staff or increase the office space and service Then business world is an ocean. And I'm only as well as standing in the show was uh, in astonishment. So whatever I have to do right now is only my level. I don't know whether all these are black people in acting business life. And uh, my dear friends, if we are confident that we are competent and ready to work hard, we can achieve anything. And uh, once again, I thank you all for inviting me and giving me a chance to uh, share my views and experience with the most distinguished gathering. Thank you all. Thank you.